Hey guys, it's Fire Phoenix, and today I'm going to be teaching you step by step on how to make a good game. If you already know this kind of stuff and you don't need help, uh, you don't need to watch this. So yeah, I'm going to teach you how to make a good platform game, or like I don't know, like Mario style or something. Okay, so first step: place player here or anywhere. It doesn't matter as long as it's on the screen. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna make me. Okay, let's go. That's just for graphic. You can make your own or choose any that's fitting for you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go with my own. Let's go here. Okay. Let's close it. Okay, now let's put down a platform. And now if you look at this area, it might be too small. Some of you might know about this, some of you won't. So we'll go zoomed so that it's on him. So it follows, so the camera follows the player. However, if you don't want this, you can always do play field double size, which allows you to do that. But I like zoomed better, but whatever floats your boat. Anyway, let's talk about controls. Yes, control. Oh, wait. Oh, zoomed. Let's go back to zoomed. Okay. Playfield zoomed. Okay. Let's see. Now, if you notice, it tips over. Now, to fix that, we can go here. Let's click on him. And now he won't flip over he just stands up now for walking or moving actually we can go here with the stick man here and flip it will walk if you do something else and now let's get into more okay so this thing looks kind of plain and if you want to do this this is what I do you can do either way or whatever uh, whatever you see fit you can go here make like grass that's my technique or let's say you want to make um, let's say you want to make metal you can go oh uh, yeah there you go looks somewhat like metal or here Whatever, whatever you see fit, it just looks better. Just not doing with default. Okay, now for some more stuff. Okay, so this one is for more advanced players. Now you can make an enemy you can jump on by doing this. Let's place a platform down so we don't fall down. Now let's put this right here now when we go here this is where it gets complex now we need to look at okay we got the collision layers now we have the sensory layers now look at these sensories now let's just choose a random one that matches this okay so now him he has this and oh and also that little brick thing has the same. So now let's add in some effects. Okay, let's get rid of that so it doesn't switch. Okay. Let's do. Yes, this. Event link. Now this will cause the same thing to happen to that. Now, if we go here, we can remove. And now we can, okay, let's test it. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about. Okay, so oh, what was this doing here? Okay, let's remove that. Okay, so now what we can do now is that you can make it move. And this too, you can, this is connected to that. And just copy it and place it right there, just mimicking it and it'll move with it. It's invisible, so you can't see it, but when you jump on it, it'll cause the same effect. 
Okay. Let's do another one. And now you might be saying, Ugh, fire, Phoenix. It'll take forever. Well, let me shorten it down for you. Now, if you just copy that, hold shift. Whammo. Now you got two. And now... That's it. And you can do as many as you like. And now you can make it possibly bigger if you want. Just try that. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm, that kind of hurt him. Okay. Now let's erase this big guy. Now, for an invisible goal. Now, your goal needs to be... Is to be... Somewhat obvious. Like, just a unique though. You don't go, Oh, here's the coin. Collect it. Boing. Did it. No. What you need to do is kind of make it more obvious unless you just want to make it simple like that which is totally okay if you want okay so let's build a cave like in Sploder legends okay let's do that okay oh okay let's get rid of that coin we don't really need that anymore okay let's Build a cave. You can build this in any way you want. You don't have to build it like me. Okay, getting closer. Oh. Now, when we test this, you can't go in. It stinks. Okay, so what you really need to do is put this in the background. Put this, oh, put that in the background. You can leave that there if you want. Put this in the very front. Put this in the very front. Now, pay attention. Now you need to clear all these. You can leave this one um, so it has a contact layer if you want. And there we go. Actually, let's make this one go all the way to the end. And now, got yourself a cave. Okay, now to put the goal there. Here's a good idea. Yeah. Let's put this right here. Or let's put this on the top layer, but invisible so you can't see it. And let's make this the same as the player. Clear this. Walk right through it. And there you go. It's clear. Now, oh, now how to make it score. This is what you do. Go to the flag. Score. That's it. There you go. Now, this game is kind of bland, so let's give it a background and some music. Uh, let's go with atmosphere. Oh, we shouldn't do black. It kind of blends in with him. Yeah, be considerate about your colors. Let's do blue. I like a darkish blue, so it's like night. There we go. And now let's make our cave look more rocky. Let's do that. That. Let's do a colors too. Yep. Then you can just double click 
to get it done faster. And now for the grass, like I mentioned earlier, let's do dark because it's a dark background. It only makes sense. And now I'm just going to add up all the details. Okay, so now what you can see what I've did is that I've sort of decorated it and made it into a mountain of, so of a sort. And yeah, you can basically do anything with this. So yeah, I hope to see your games with the techniques I taught you. And I hope they're good. I'll see you guys later.